So this game's not original. Don't care. So the graphics aren't 4K. Don't care. So there's not tons of DLC and missions and other BS. Don't care. The gameplay is great, and that's all that matters. I've had enough of these Streets of Rage 4 rehash copies where every game is the same, from Turtles to Streets of Rage to Double Dragon. They all look the same. I don't care about those games. I just want a game with good gameplay. Well, we finally have it. And sure, call it a Contra ripoff or a Contra remake. I don't care. It's done well. And that's all that matters. A game that takes all the good from Contra Retro games and takes the good from Contra Galuga and makes the best game of 2025. And I know people are going to say, no, Astro Bot or some VR game or whatever, but guess what? I don't have a PS5 and I don't wanna play VR games. So what game am I talking about? It's Iron Meat. I bought this game for $18 on Switch and it's worth every penny. What makes this game so great? Well, it's everything. It's the intro and the attract mode to the music and the audio and the sound bites. It gets you excited and nervous at the same time. it's simple no story mode no challenge mode no achievement bs the only mode is play the fucking game mode the levels are fun just long enough to make you think they are too long but not too long so you don't want to play them anymore and you want to give up on them. when i first saw that you start with 16 lives per level i was a little curious as to why but it seems like the perfect amount after you start playing. Sure, if you master the game, it's way too many lives, but for a game that you want to play through without having to replay levels over and over, it's the perfect amount of guys, especially on normal difficulty. And each level of gameplay is exciting. It's like they've combined some of the great gameplay from numerous games and combine them into one challenge while throwing tons of projectiles at you, but still being able to avoid or shoot them out of the way. And the boss challenges are fantastic. They combine the boss and the projectiles and the random enemies perfectly, making challenging and fun boss fights. Look at some of these boss fights. Different and challenging and just fun. This flying alligator boss is great. I mean, you're shooting the head, there's projectiles and missiles coming in, and there's other uh, projectiles that you have to jump over. And then when you kill the alligator so much, his eyes pop out, and now you gotta shoot the eyes. And then there's these snail-looking maggot things coming down that you gotta shoot on the ground. Just tons of thought that went into this game and beating these bosses. That's gonna be us too. Blazer MK2. Get down, get down, we're gonna go back. Back, back, back. Oh up top. Yeah. Up top. Watch jump. that thing. Okay, okay yeah, that thing's a killer. Brain. You gotta jump and kill the brain. I'm jumping. Watch oh, out. Look out down. You yeah, I don't know what we can do there. I think you just Yuri Mark. Come on. <laughs> Might be shut. Okay, what do we do with this? You this all the way to the right, and then you wait him out, but then we gotta go all the way to the left. But then we Xenomorph Biologist oh. or something. Xenomorph Biologist! Watch, he's coming out of the middle. Saying, <coughs> Jeez. He's saying hashtag, hashtag, hashtag. Look out. Why? You're just too slow. Yeah. <laughs> Scorpioc Macrobothus. Okay. So Coming from the left, guys, right? Gonna be a spider. Two on the ground, two. Jeez, I can't. Now, what did this game do? Well, it reverted back to some of the simple gameplay that you found in Contra, yet still adding some improvements that it pulled from, say, Contra Galuga. It uses the stationary aiming the same as Contra Galuga, where you can just hold L2 or R2 and stay in one place, yet shooting in the direction that you want. 
but one huge difference is there's no 360 shooting like there was in Contra Galuga. There is only eight directional shooting, which I'm completely fine with because it's nostalgic to the original Contra. It also has the two weapon system where you get to hold on to one additional weapon and if you die, you can still keep that one additional weapon. And then when you upgrade one weapon, you do that by getting a second power up for the same weapon and that weapon becomes much stronger. They also have a team of CPU assistant characters which will actually help you. They will shoot enemies for you and also throw power ups to you. Now, why does this game have buttholes in it? What am I even talking about? Well, I blame my buddy Joe for this one. He pointed this out, and now I can't get it out of my head when I play this game. So here it is. I'll never forget this. Take a look. I didn't think those things could kill us. That was coming down. You gotta watch out for the buttholes, too. Yeah, we missed that one. Butthole time. That what? Ball, PA. Stop it. Buttle! Donnie, I don't want to die. Yeah, sorry about that, but blame my buddy Joe for that. Now, moving on, obviously there's always some things that could improve, improve on in these games. Uh, I think that the weapons could shoot a little faster, or at least some of them could. Uh, and I also think that some of them should be a little bit stronger. There is this one U weapon that uh, I really don't know what it stands for. Uh, probably one of the stronger weapons, but I think some of the other weapons could do a little bit more damage per shot than they do. Now, I love the fact that you can go from stage to stage and select your stage. You don't have to start from the beginning. And for a person like me who doesn't have all the time in the world to play a game straight through from the first time sitting down, I love the fact that you can continue easily on this at any stage that you want once you have completed it. Now, I'm not through this game completely, and I look forward to playing the rest of the levels and beating them, but I wanted to get this video out because I wanted you guys to try this game, play it, tell me what you think of it. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Hey, thanks for watching The Rexer Show. The freshest You're meat. You're on The Rexer Show, Joe. Freshest meat. You want to watch the intro? I don't care either way. What is happening right here? We're getting meat at, yeah, we broke that meat open. It's all about the meat. Wait, hey, wait. That's no moon. That's a gosh dang shot me. That's no moon. Gosh dang space station. Oh, that's spread gun down there. Go get that. Ah, uh, I, I rushed into it. That's my Yeah, fault. now you don't have the spread gun. Yeah, stink. Okay? Good job, good stink. Job. Look out, look out. Look at all these guys. Just get up on this level, John. Come on. I could use some help. Nah, there was no way I was getting out of that. You can goo at least. Is it? Is it like getting more hit? What's oh, coming down this view? Let's go to the corner. Oh! 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 Good work, Mike. Yeah, it is. Mighty saved the day. It's another train that blew up.